Hi, Glenn. Hi, Lou. As you just mentioned, right now we know that the County Board of Supervisors pulled that controversial plan from their agenda and their meeting for tomorrow. They're supposed to talk about it here in downtown Los Angeles, but that's not going to happen. They say this is a public safety issue and they need more input. That original plan would have reduced the number of convicted criminals in jails. Of course, more needs to be discussed. Take a look. Supervisor Hilda Solis says her office received concerns from stakeholders, both opposed and in favor of jail depopulation. Board Chair Janice Hahn says they need more input before moving forward. She says in the statement, I have concerns with this proposal and its potential impact on public safety, and I cannot support it. Any plan to reduce the population of our jails needs to be decided in partnership with law enforcement, our deputy district attorneys, and our courts. At first, Supervisors Hilda Solis and Lindsay Horvath were advocating for what they call a humanitarian crisis to depopulate a county jails here in Los Angeles. Uh, their goal was to correct historical wrongs rooted in systemic racism and reverse responses to poverty and mental health. Now, the plan would have reduced bail for criminals with misdemeanor and some felonies, and inmates would serve time mostly under house arrest instead of behind bars. Now, Eric Sadal, vice president of the Association of Deputy District Attorneys, which represents hundreds of L.A. County prosecutors, says the Los Angeles County Board of Supervisors motion to gut parts of the criminal justice system without input from stakeholders is dangerous and reckless. The current d proposal uh, directs law enforcement to cite and release suspects from committing offenses like illegally carrying a firearm, domestic violence, possession of child pornography and violent offenses, including re residential burglary, robbery and assault with a firearm. Now, this program benefits no one except criminals. Now, this was part of the board's Care First Jail's last plan, which was approved by voters in 2021. It uses $200 million for community youth programs, job training, and alternatives to incarceration. The board will consider demolishing the men's central jail without a replacement. Now, the L.A. County Police Chiefs Association believes they were blindsided, saying in the midst of surging crime rates, it appears the board of supervisors was moving completely away from sound public safety responses. So they need their input right now. Back out here live, of course, that has all been tabled because they feel as though they need to hear from multiple sides before talking about something that would affect public safety. Reporting live here in downtown LA, Gene Kang, back to you in the studio.